consists of nine parts um, after the entrance hymn the act of contrition prayer of St. Augustine to the Holy Spirit the first reading meaning first reading of the day a responsorial psalm in the gospel reading of meaning today today's mass very brief reflection some 15 minutes of silence or silent adoration in our meditation and in litany of the most precious blood of Jesus. Then after that, the last 15 minutes we spend for benediction. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Together, my God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend with your help to do penance, to sin no more, to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior Jesus Christ, suffered and died for us. In his name, may God have mercy. Prayer of St. Augustine to the Holy Spirit, together. Breathe into me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love only what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend all that is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In Christ, we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness 
of transgressions in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us <clears throat> in all wisdom and insight he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven, and on earth. The word of the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp a melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> the Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law, 
You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourself did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. We have heard in today's Gospel, Woe to you, scholars of the law! What is this? Why? Well, Jesus explained, or explains in today's Gospel, You have taken away the key of knowledge, you yourself do not enter, and you stop those trying to enter. In other words, Jesus is saying, you, scribes and Pharisees, you are not authentic, you are not true. Meaning, you are fake to use today's language. Not true, not authentic, not righteous, not good. One word, fake. What will bring, therefore, conversion or change or renewal or being renewed or being transformed or being configured one in the Spirit of Jesus or one in the Spirit of God? What will bring about this process? One word, repentance. What will bring or what will be the result of repentance? One word, conversion. What happens when there is conversion? When there is this change in transformation and being one in the Spirit of God. One word, holiness, or being holy, or being a saint. Like today's saint, great doctor of the church, saint. The rest of Avila. Now, this idea of being holy, being a saint, is God's call to, to you and to me, to all, not just to some. No. Is God's call to all to be what? To be holy. Where did we start? Before the foundation or the creation of the world. 
Really? Yes. Where did you get that, Father? Well, in today's first reading. Let me read. <clears throat> Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him, as He chose us in Him, before the foundation of the world, that means before the creation of the world, what? To be holy and without blemish before Him. So it's right there in today's first reading. As we become more and more holy, become more and more without blemish or less of sin or sins before God, we engage in the process of increased holiness in being a saint. Again, God's call to all before the foundation of the world. Then we will not become fake. We will become true and good and righteous and authentic. Let's spend moments of silence or silent adoration. And then after that, we will have the litany of the most precious blood of Jesus.
As I said earlier <clears throat> during the reflection, there can be no holiness, holiness of life without repentance and conversion. Conversion meaning change renewal, transformation, meaning that in the process of becoming holy, there is no such thing as unity or what Pope Francis says in his latest encyclical, Pratili Tutti, there is no such thing as brotherhood or sisterhood without repentance and change. This has, there can be no peace in the home without repentance and being renewed, being a new person. And so therefore there is no peace or there is no love and mercy and forgiveness achieved without repentance and being renewed or conversion. Repentance in, or prayer and repentance and conversion that's the message of Our Lady of Fatima. Prayer, repentance, and conversion, or penance, penance, penance. And then in this process, we become true and authentic. We become more and more being holy and being a saint. With God's grace. <clears throat> Litany of the most precious blood of Jesus. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, Lord hear us, Jesus. Lord hear us. God the Father of heaven. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. God the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father. Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God. Blood of Christ, of the new and eternal testament. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging. Blood of Christ flowing forth in the crowning with thorns. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy. Blood of Christ, 
victor over demons. Blood of Christ carried the martyrs. Blood of Christ, strength of, of, of confessors. <clears throat> Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril. Blood of Christ, relief of the burden. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitents. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying. Blood of Christ, peace in tenderness of hearts. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. You have redeemed us, O Lord, in your blood. Let us pray all together. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, and will to be appeased by his blood. Grant we beg you of you that we may worthily adore this prize of our salvation and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of the present life so that we may rejoice in its truths forever in heaven to the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
You have given them bread from heaven, having with it all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering in this. May I worship you of the sacrament of your body and blood. Help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom. Will you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit? One God forever and ever. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. 
Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy. The an Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. <clears throat> Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. Thy center claim all in heaven above adore thee in thy vast domain. so much for coming to this weekly hour of adoration Thursday uh, from 6.45 or rather from 5.45 to 6.45 actually we have daily hour of adoration 
um, immediately after Mass in the morning, um, seven, our Mass here is seven o'clock, and after that adoration, and usually it goes to nine or even ten o'clock, especially on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Starting this Saturday, um, the, our usual 7 o'clock Mass will be um, 8 o'clock starting this Saturday. That's because at 6.30 we have a faith formation program for men. It is called TMIY. That man is you. So, for the first time, let's move our 7 o'clock Mass. It's only on Saturday, from 7 to 8. Otherwise, Monday to Friday, and even on Sunday, we have Mass in the morning at 7. Another one is talking about uh, being holy, being a saint. We are undertaking a three season faith formation course here during fall during winter and spring uh, we are inviting you anyone this is uh, not just for this paris this is inter paris event and it is in this church and this uh, for example and that's every wednesday in this church. Uh, we started two Wednesdays ago. It's coming Wednesday is our third. If you come in, if you're interested, you're available. Nobody is late. Uh, it's, it's from six to seven. It's only one hour here in this church. It's paid permission, of the, or rather the name is Faith Formation in Eucharistic Spirituality. Subtitle, The Way or A Way to Be Holy. So we are undertaking this in three seasons. This fall, during winter and spring. Eucharistic Spirituality. The third part in spring, you will begin to realize or we will undertake the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, all parts of the Mass, as related to the Bible or based on the Bible. So everyone is invited. Again, thank you so much for coming. Good evening, good night. God bless you all. By the way, please bring your paper home. Don't leave it in, in where you are. Um, next time you come back, we'll give you a new one. So you can bring it home. You can use that. There is a good litany there. The precious blood of Jesus, which I got from EWTN. There's a source there. Um, because we, next week we will provide you with a new copy of the same content.